I'm going to uh, do a short review here on uh, Pacific Rim. Uh, I saw it last week, but I apologize. I haven't been able to uh, ride too much. Uh, you know, it's either been raining or I've been at work. So sorry for it being a week late, but uh, here goes my review about Pacific Rim. Uh, the basic rundown of the story is that you have... Uh-oh, I came undone there. Um, basic rundown of the story, you have giant monsters who came out of a rift under seas from a different planet or something, and they've started to attack cities. Uh, the monsters are named or called uh, Kaiju, and so, you know, the humans, they're able to defeat a couple of the first ones with, uh, you know, conventional arms, uh, but then they decide they need a better weapon to fight it, and so they build the uh, Jaegers, which are the giant robots that, you know, are used to fight against them. Well, that, that, that's the basic rundown. You have the Jaegers versus the monster, or Kaiju, and from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be awesome, you know, monster battle, blown up cities, you know, neat fights and everything. And the, the movie just doesn't seem to deliver. It, uh, the, the biggest part where you would, would expect it to be delivered would be in the fights. And I was really disappointed in, in all the fights. Uh, they all took place at night. Uh, there was one small little clip of a battle that took place during the day. Uh, and I want to say that that clip, you know, probably was under a minute long. And, you know, you, you really couldn't see much. And, and what you did see during the night battles, you know, it, it was hard to see clearly, you know, exactly what was happening between the, uh, the kaiju and the... The Jaegers, you know, it was kind of, you know, it was just really dark. And one of the battles, it was raining as well, and so that made it even darker. And, you know, the, the big battle that they have in Hong Kong, you know, you have such, you know, an amazing city with an amazing architecture. And because it's at night, you know, and once they get inside the buildings there, you can tell that it's all computer animated uh, buildings and you know it, it could be any city in the world that they're in you know, they, they don't use any of the landmarks um, of Hong Kong they don't uh, really it, it could have been anywhere monsters and Jaegers fighting during the middle of the night in any seaside city in the world and it wouldn't have mattered so you know, it was, it was just kind of a pointless battle. Um, and you would think that with that being the big plug for this thing, that they'd want to make it the most interesting part and make it the most, you know, talked about part of the thing, and it just really falls through. Uh, the story, you know, you really wasn't expecting much of a story, and, you know, that's what you got. There wasn't much of a story in it. Uh, Jaegers fighting monsters to save the earth. Pretty much is what it came down to. Um, they tried to add some comedic elements to it with these two scientists. Uh, I, I hated the two scientists. I didn't think they were funny at all. They kind of just... Every time they'd come on screen, I just you know, kind of groaned in my seat and was like, oh, not these two again. Um, they, they really didn't fit in with the story, or, or they didn't mesh well with the flow of the movie. And, uh, you know, I seriously think they could have taken them out, and whatever contribution that they added, they could have easily, you know, assigned that or earned it, you know, or learned about it from a different source. And it probably would have been more dramatic. The, the, a lot of times, you know, story can make up for you know, poor, you know, sometimes poor acting, you know, often not. And, but it can also make up for, like, poor special effects. And this one doesn't. So, I'm only giving it about a two and a half out of uh, five stars. I mean, 
it, it was, I don't know if I'd say enjoyable, but it was, a, you know, two hours that I didn't mind sitting in the theater watching the movie. And I, I wouldn't recommend to others to watch it or to, you know, go to the theater and pay for it. You know, pay the eight or ten dollars or twelve dollars or how much, however much. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Um, maybe go and you know rent it. You know, I, that could be a suggestion. You know, maybe a dollar from the red box, but definitely not theater. Possibly rent it, and I'm not gonna buy this on DVD. Even though I thought from the trailer it was gonna look awesome, I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, really disappointed in the movie. So there you go, two and a half stars. Uh, also, I've posted or I've written up a review, and I'll post that down below in the comments there, or not in the comments, but you know in the description, a uh, review of it. Hopefully, y'all read that and uh, you know, make some comments. Uh, I hope to go see the Wolverine sometime this weekend, and uh, barring rain, I should uh, be able to post that up sometime next week. So we'll see y'all then.